What up guys? Welcome back to 88 Bit Tech. I'm AJ and today we have a $500 custom all white Starfield build. But we have some glaring issues to address. Now that we have that out of the way, I've got something I want to confess. I like Starfield. There! I said it! Oh, it feels so good to finally get it off my chest. <sighs> Jokes aside, I'm not the only one. Despite the overwhelmingly negative reviews on Steam, this game has the most playtime than any other RPG in 2023 even more than Baldur's Gate 3, which is arguably the best RPG of 2023. See, the thing about Starfield is, it brings me back to the days of my youth, when I had dreams of becoming a criminal mastermind and running the mafia with my brothers. When I found out I couldn't do that, I became a space pirate in a game called Freelancer. And Starfield feels like a more advanced version of that game that I love. That's why I wanted to build a really cool all-white themed Starfield build. Here are the listed parts and the prices. This all-white custom PC cost me about 525 US dollars with mainly new parts. That's with a Ryzen 5 5600 and an RX 5700. Price even includes the spray paint and vinyl. And the centerpiece of this all-white Starfield build is the Alzai W90 AMD cooler I found on AliExpress. It screamed Starfield and I just had to grab it. Let's get to building.
On to the benchmark section. The system specs are a Ryzen 5 5600 paired with an RX 5700, 16GB of dual channel CL18 DDR4 RAM at 3200 megatransfers per second, and all games are being played off of a 1TB King Spec NX Series M.2 NVMe Gen 3x4 SSD. First up, we have Cyberpunk 2077. This was an interesting game to test, especially with the release of the FSR3 mod with frame generation that works on this game. Both games are running at ultra settings. Left video is FSR 2.1 quality. We average 60 FPS, but with FSR 3 mod with frame generation, we average 102 FPS. And from what I can tell, the visual quality was the same in both and very smooth. Moving on to Starfield, we have it set to medium settings, full screen, 1080p with FSR 2 at 85% render resolution. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the FSR 3 mod to work on Starfield with the RX 5700. Should work fine if you have an NVIDIA GPU and you'll get a massive performance boost with little loss in visual fidelity. Regardless, it's supposed to be getting official support soon, with its, which is really exciting for us budget ballers. So keep in mind that the FPS you see on screen is being significantly reduced due to OBS recording in the background. Without it, I averaged anywhere between 55 to 90 plus FPS depending on the location. Smooth gameplay overall and really very enjoyable to play.
Here are the rest of the benchmarks I've done on this system. All games run at 1080p max settings with no upscaling apart from Fortnite which got an average FPS of 130 with medium TSR. Performance mode got 260 average FPS. Even in demanding titles like Hogwarts Legacy and Witcher 3 Wild Hunt Next Gen, this system gets 60 plus FPS. Throw on FSR 2 or FSR 3 when that comes out and performance will skyrocket. And you could probably run them at 1440p if you couldn't already. As you can see, there is no problem playing modern titles here at 1080p. You may notice I left out the 1% lows and 0.1% lows in Hogwarts Legacy and that's because there are a ton of invisible loading screens that cause those lows to drop a lot. Not really indicative of actual gameplay. This all white PC with all the little custom white bits I added was really fun to build and a first for me. I honestly think it's one of the best looking PCs I've built. There were a couple of things that I wasn't happy with, mainly the front 140mm fans. Unfortunately, they are static blue. A couple of my mates said that they actually liked the color scheme, but my initial plan for the build was for all white. Uh, other than that, this is a very capable system, and the fact that it is on a B550M motherboard, it's got an easy upgrade path all the way up to a 5800X3D or a 5950X. I've included a link to some of the parts below if you were interested in picking any of them up yourself. They are affiliate links, but no additional cost to you. If you liked the video, please like the video as it really does help the channel out. And if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe to my channel by clicking on my face over here so you can stay up to date with my very sporadic video releases. And I also got two other dope videos for you to, for you to check out uh, just over here. Thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.